How are you doing guys? It's your boy, Electric Genius, and we're back again. Well, um, in the PS4. It's been five years, roughly. So, um, recently you've been hearing some announcements about Minecraft and all that stuff. This, my friends, is what you call the huge release. And to be releasing this, um, on the day of the, uh, Minecraft 10 year anniversary it feels great. To have 10 years off your mind. But right now, as of this moment, um, I will just switch over to day mode because you can't see anything. This, my friends, is Destination Serverton. I called it the Serverton midpoint because that's exactly what it, it, it tends to sound like. So this is the entire, um, it's the entire Minecraft build so far. Um, obviously it's still a very huge work in progress, um, but this is um, one of the first um, creations that I've done. Um, if you might have known, I posted it on the uh, Instagram about a while back, maybe two weeks, three weeks ago. Um, it's been close to that much time now, and um, I've built all of this. There's, um, I mean, obviously you can see some framework of the um, townhouses that I'm building next to that over there, which I'll explain in further detail. But this is the um, farm that I built, and it was one of the first creations. Don't mind the lectern and um, anvil over there. They're just random things I was doing with my life. Um, so yeah, I was working on thinking, what should I do? And um, yeah, I built all of this in uh, about a first week. I built the um, toll booth within one night. So this is the um, bit point toll booth which is um the way you can get in it obviously costs quite a bit um all that stuff as you can see for those workers who stay in the late nights or just want to um, take a nap in the day you got a bed over here i actually used that bed quite a bunch of times because i never turned off the uh day night system so we're actually going to turn on the day night system um so yeah the calmersville farm it's actually really not owned by anything. We're just going to call it Brick Commerceville. You might be wondering, what is Commerceville? Well, um, that's the city that we're building over there. And it's actually a very small city, but um, you could also call it a village. I've also used the stone, uh, the full stone blocks. The smooth stone, what they call it now. And um, it looks very great, to be honest. It, it adds a lot of detail. Um, this is actually the washroom with um, a very big opening and no door, so I'm a bit curious as to why I never finished that and this is a very bland bedroom for the farmer um, and a double bedroom in case if uh, the farmer has a wife or has a husband if it's a girl um, yeah there's all that and this is the silo which um, I'm never going to populate with anything except for a nice little um, farm type chandelier and um, you might have noticed there's these random birch uh, slabs with lanterns under them they're just floating um, yes, we have advanced technology now. Bet you that's great, awesome, right? Um, sorry, I'm still using the sieve skin. But as you may think, um, well, why you might be placing these under water blocks? Well, the water blocks obviously are going to give you a pain in the butt, and every time that you jump on a um, farmland, tilled farmland, there's a chance that you can actually um, turn the farmland into regular dirt again. So it's going to be a pain to get it back just find yourself that hoe and um, till the land again so um, with the with this one it actually serves two purposes one during the night it will emit light and help uh, burst the growth of the wheat that we are growing obviously this is a 16 by 16 um, max this is what I call true maximum efficiency now, I can't show you maximum efficiency till about next couple of videos that I play Minecraft on in the survival world that I you may have may have not seen. But this is four against four, which means sixteen maximum efficiency um, farms running all at the same time, and um, you might need about three workers to fill this thing up to uh, to the brim, and they're going to need a ton of seeds. But in return, you're going to get so much more wheat and so much more money. Right, moving on, you may have seen this already. 
this is a birch farm that goes along with the farm over here, the wheat farm as well. Um, yes, we are all reliant on birch, even though there is some oak over here. Um, we just, in our, in my eyes, I see that commerce, uh, sorry, not, not commerce hill, uh, birch, birch planks are actually feeling of a lot more modern than oak and all that stuff. Also, train line. So, um, you might be wondering, why is there a train line over here? Well, I'm about to explain that to you right now. This train line runs through this entire, uh, zone over here. I'm actually, uh, um, quite happy about this. Also, some pixel art to show that this is the train station. Um, you want to take a ride over, you got it here. This is the Commerceville train station. Yes, it is. Um, with a complete parking lot with lights. I'm not sure if I should be building any further than that, but I'm not sure why they'd be doing that. Unless if you're a, a common commuter. Also, I've added this little gray pad just so um, you get some time and chance to pass over there and be a legal jaywalker for once. Um, because everyone likes to jaywalk, don't they? No. No one likes to jaywalk. It's illegal, I think. I don't know. If some, in some countries, it, it, it might be illegal, but um, I haven't heard of anything being illegal uh, where I'm from. Anyways, the highway. The highway is a great place to be, and it's actually one of the best places I've built. Um, it's very straight, as you can tell. But it, um, one thing is definitely for sure. Um, it took me some time in planning to build the rest of the uh, ways. Um, we can, we will take a check at the map soon. Um, yes, and all that stuff. And yes, I also did plan literal, actual tunnels. This tunnel goes downwards um, and makes its way up towards here. Um, this comes from the farm over there, and it also has another egg entrance way into the area. Um, and that's to the highway. This one also is one, this is the wrong way that I'm entering through, but it is from the highway and it exits to there. Now we have also an entrance way and it, um, it's kind of like this. So this one took me a little bit of time to get it nice and straight and aligned. Um, but overall this is one of my very best works. Um, one of my better, very best um, bridge types that I've built. And um, it's very circular, um, as you can tell. So it's one of the best ones yet. Um, also, no struts, so um, then again, uh, major science to be unfolded. Also, we have an entrance way into the highway, and then there's also a nice little exit way into the service road that leads you to these set of townhouses um, that you can really just live in any one of these. But of course, you have to live in only one. Uh, you can't move on to the next or expand. Um, I'm currently in also a bunch of work of these, so hopefully one day I will finish all this and I will not procrastinate. Um, here's a little road, windy road that comes down. Um, a lot of um, trees and stuff that are over here. I wanted to make sure that there's also some nature, and by some nature I mean a ton of nature, um, that runs around through the area. Now, I told you um, about this place. This is the Calmersville Hotel. The Commerce Hotel trademark. Yes. Uh, also, that's Commerce Housing trademark. The ones in the townhouses. This place took me a ton of time. It even's got like, you know, it's got. Um, I actually want to get something here. That uh, what is this? White carpet. Um, when I break it, sea lantern. Okay, so yeah, it's got the, um, it's got the, uh, white carpet coming over the sea lantern. There's also a sea lantern on top to just make sure that, um, it actually looks realistically enlightened and not like as if it's like magic or like Hogwarts or something. No, no Hogwarts stuff in here. And guess what? We've also made a use of the aquatic update in 1.13 using these types of elevators. These are what I call the awesome types of elevators, but it is quite a hard one to get around. Um, as you see, um, I've also picked different um, types of flowers for each one. And this one, 
is what I call the premium section. This one is truly premium because it has only four doors in each corridor, and this one is huge. Um, unfortunately, there are no flowers, but there is a nice double bed um, smacked together as one, and they are absolutely awesome. So, um, that's all that. There's also a receptionist desk that um, is over here. Two, re two receptionist desks, and um, there's, um, you know, these obsidian uh, doors, because those are actually emergency exits. And as you can see, the style of this, I used white concrete, gr light gray concrete, and some quartz in there. So, um, this is truly one of my best uh, job well done for me. I don't... Okay, I'm going to have to fix some of that, but um, yeah. And uh, we've started all the way here earlier. This is Laser Park, dedicated to um, an Australian YouTuber, Laser Beam, who has played Minecraft before. I wanted to make sure that there is some sort of reference in here. Um, I am always willing to make references to any sort of YouTuber whatsoever, um, as long as it is content YouTube worthy. <laughs> so, right, um, I wrote here DS for Destination Serviton, and I've also added this line here to make sure that you're reading from this side, and uh, if you're ever flying, <laughs> you just want to make sure you read it like that. Also, the com like the Commerce Hotel is definitely one of my biggest works. It took me like, I don't know, three days to work on it. And I had stopovers every like six days. Uh, yeah, six days? Yeah, I don't know. And as you can see, it's turning to night, and you can see the world just like light up in front of your eyes. The beacons definitely show off the best ones. Um, so I really am happy for that. Malwort, Dominic's reference. And this actually is a very bad story. <laughs> um, now that I think about it, I think I might have done overdone the mal in Malwort. Well, they're going to be selling warts here, nether warts. Um, obviously, I put in like carrots, potatoes, uh, milk and water, and a bunch of extra other food. You know, and, like if you're a vegan, take these. If you uh, are thirsty, take these. If you're hungry and you're not a vegan, then take these. But I'm going to add a whole separate section. Oh, yeah. There's also these flower sections that I never really decided to do much with. Also, these things are not going to be uh, filled stock to the brim. Cashier area here, so you don't have to jump over. And where do you store the money? That's where you store the money. Put the money in the bag. Also, I want to show you a bit of commerce housing. I know it's very dark. Um, but this is what it looks like when you're walking off in the streets and areas. Um, this is what one of the typical um, townhouses would look like. Um, this is where you'd normally put your bed. And upstairs is actually an attic, which will, you will never decide to use at all in your life, ever. Um, it took me a while to think about um, what the, uh, you know, the top roof should be. I realized that, um, yeah, it's going to take a while for that one. But then, uh, yeah, wow, I've just gotten really fast as soon as I went to Laser Park. Whew. All right, so let's take a trip down the railways and uh, let me just show you what's actually inside of the hole so as you actually see there's like all this stuff it looks pretty nice to go on there's laser park over there zoom 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 this actually was oh my goodness uh oh this feels weird all right now this is what's gonna get you trippy if you just stare in the front for like a long time you see you're going fast the speed of light and then you see nothing. Nothing forever. And then, you're back in free again. And then you get all trippy. Turn yourself into a rainbow. And then slow yourself down enough to enter yourself back in the real world. Uh, get to pass by a farm along the way. It looks really nice to, do, to see this sort of thing happen. And for some reason, this thing gets faster when we pass Laser Park. I don't know why. But it actually helps a bit. So yeah, there's all that. Oh yes, and I also forgot. There is just one special thing that I can't forget. 
It's a custom nether portal. It's another portal that sends you to the nether, obviously, but we're going to be doing something seriously good in there. And, um, yes, it also involves trains. Because I like trains. Oh, well. Uh, um, so, yeah, you can see all the street lights passing down. It's really one of the lively places you'd want to be visiting. And I'm glad that I built this, you know? There's also this very huge area. <laughs> this very huge area that I was working on experimentally. Not purely for experiments, but, um... Yes, this is a very big area, and we've dedicated- I've dedicated this area for factories, automated factories. But, um, I'm having trouble with this side, and I'm asking for your help. So, the reason why I've turned this to a community project is I'm asking you, the viewers, to ask, what should I build? In the server 10 bit point, and we will actually show you the map very quickly um, before we cut off the video right here um, so yes destination serviton 0.1 is releasing today not to the public obviously and um, let's just get close to a piece of light here and here's what it looks like so um, as you can see there's um, that there so over there you can spot the uh, the Commerce Hotel, Commerce Housing, and past the Commerce Housing as a farm. We got the Malwort, we got the everything, we got, we got, we got everything, really. Sorry for the burp. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's really a nice place. And, uh, if anyone ever wants to check out more, then, uh, give me some time, you know? Also, I think I might have over-spammed the amount of street lights. Here, so I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix the amount of street lights that pop in each time. It just feels like I'm trying to prevent spamming of um, whatever it's called, the mobs, because I'm. It's difficult, you know. Also, this is one of the recently newly built ones. A lake. Um, it's an actual lake. Like, it's it's um it's real. Um. The Commerceville Department says it's absolutely real, re real, real. Um, even even this uh, terraforming, this is all real. This is all real. Like I all I all built this, and it's real. It, lo it looks real. I built all of this by hand. It was once a super flat world. I didn't dig any of this, and now it's turned to this. So in a time span of two months and a bit, in this time, yeah, in a time span, no, in a time span of one month, I built all of this. And I'm not even close to done with it yet. We've just only built about fifth one ten percent ten percent of the land has been completely built and ready for use. Five percent of the land is ready for construction. And eighty-five percent of the land is still waiting for you is still waiting for um you know, the rest of the stuff. Um yeah, the highway has problems. But, um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below, what do you want? Also, check on the Discord if you want a really accurate position. And, um, the Discord actually is more active than the comment section. So I suggest heading to over to Discord and, um, typing down, what do you want to see? Thank you, Fortnite, for, um, disrupting, um, what I was talking about. Um, just... T type in the comment section below what do you want to see in Commerceville no pixel art and no con like just like only city related and a little bit of pixel art because that's what this bit point is all about the pixel art like that's one of the main reasons why it's popular but I do have some definite certainties that are obviously going to be placed in here take for example an airport a not a bus terminal like who uses buses anymore only um, people who were just immigrated to a country. I'm sorry for those people. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I roasted you. Um, yeah, I'm terribly sorry. And, you know, some... What was it called? I forgot. Um, but, yeah. Let me know. And I'll see you all in the next video. Stay optimistic as we watch the sun rise from the ground. I bet it's going to look beautiful.
check my Instagram.